Welcome back everyone, last time we visited the very basics of how to farm experience in Dragon Quest Monsters the Dark Prince using metal slimes and metal routes to find them consistently, today I've made a quick guide on how to make gold in the game since a lot of you asked for this. But wait a second Has is that 15,000 gold from a single battle? Yes indeed, and that's exactly what I'll show you how to do today. For more Dragon Quest Monsters content check out the rest of my channel, and now let's see how to farm monies. Just like metal slimes are the traditional source of experience in Dragon Quest, the monster Bag of Tricks exists in the game as the gold equivalent, and they are similarly a rare monster spawn you can find in the world after you have unlocked at least the middle echelons of the underworld, and as you progress the game further and further it gets easier to find them. Defeating a single bag of tricks grants you 3000 gold, so tons of money, and the good news is that just like metal slimes you can also meet multiple bag of tricks in a battle up to even 4 of them, though that requires some extreme luck on your part. The one thing that makes bag of tricks significantly better though than metal slimes is that they don't share in their elusive nature and bag of tricks won't really try to escape from you once you meet them, but instead just buff their fellow monsters in battle and no matter what happens you will get your 3000 gold money bag and come out richer from the battle. So overall they are a lot easier to fight and they don't even require any special team setup. Additionally you can increase this 3000 gold per bag of tricks you can earn to up around 7000 at least using multiple sources of bonus gold like bonus balls that increase it by 50% or even double it, but there are also accessories like the cupcake cane you can get from the middle echelons of indulgence that increase experience gain, money gain and even reward items. I've also heard you can get two accessories as rewards from finding a lot of mini medals that increase your gold gained, but I can't confirm as I haven't got them myself yet. But either way, it is recommended to equip as many of these as you can and stack their bonuses. So how on earth can you earn so much gold and where can you find these bag of tricks? Good news is that similarly like metal slimes, bag of tricks have fixed spawn locations that are very easy to find and they share the exact same spawn criteria and respawn requirements as their metal brethren, so it is very easy to keep farming gold, but since they don't escape you, it will go even faster. Farming gold becomes the most efficient once you reach the story segment where you can explore the upper echelons of the underworld. I absolutely do not recommend the method before you reach this part, as it's really slow in comparison, but I'll show it regardless and the current known location of early bag of tricks that's somewhat optimized is in the middle echelons of conquest. You have to start your gold route at the dumb Molin village, head east according to the arrow to see if the bag of tricks spawned there, then turn back, cross the bridge and check the second location for another bag of tricks and whether you found one of them, both of them or none at all, you need to zoom to a complete other circle of the underworld to respawn monsters, then zoom back to Dun Molin and repeat the process. As you see this route is pretty inefficient with how much you have to walk around, which is exactly why I recommend waiting for the upper echelons, and if you would like to get both of these images I'm about to show here on the video you can always visit my Twitter account where I post monster synthesis charts and other Dragon Quest content you can download. Once you gain access to the upper echelon of the Circle of Indulgence, it is as easy as starting at Rose Hill Tower at the beginning taking a right turn and jumping down twice to a larger platform full of monsters. And on this large platform you can potentially find up to 3 bag of tricks full of gold and all variations of them so 1, 2 or none at all. Just like before, after scouting if there is any of them there and you are finished, zoom to a complete other circle of the underworld, this step is very important for respawn requirements, then zoom back to Rose Hill Tower of this area and repeat the process. This is by far the fastest and easiest way to make gold in Dragon Quest Monsters and if you use a bumper bonus ball and you are at least somewhat lucky to have bag of tricks here, you can make up to 200,000 gold every hour here farming and much much more if you get super lucky with 2 or 3 bags in a single battle that can net you immense amount of gold for absolutely no effort at all. It is that easy really, no twists, no tricks or secrets, and you're all ready to make gold for yourselves. Well, this video was pretty short, but that just shows how easy it is to farm gold in Dragon Quest Monsters, and how anyone can do it without any greater preparation or struggle like you have to go through with metal slimes. I definitely wanted to release this video quickly as a lot of you requested a tutorial for making money, so I hope this was helpful and was exactly what you wanted. 
Thank you so much for watching and all the support for my content. More crazy synthesis guides are coming in the next few days. I've been trying to push the story as fast as possible so I can continue my guides. So stay tuned and if you enjoy my content, make sure to like and subscribe as a lot more of it is coming your way. Take care everyone and I'll see you all the next time.